There's Herman, enjoying the Mediterranean. He gets around for a hedgehog. We awoke to a quiet, sleepy town until the town bells reminded us that it was time for everyone to rise, that is. We headed down for a scrumptious breakfast and to spend time with our host, Katerine. It's a very healthy pine. You do a good job with it. I don't do anything. Sometimes yeah. I just add water, but I feed the fish. Yeah. So I have no problem with the fish, and, uh, or with the plant. I'm so happy, all right, well, I'm Catherine. I'm the owner of the bed and breakfast in a small village called Ouveillon that uh -huh. you um, discovered yesterday. Yes. And I uh, have been here uh, running the bed and breakfast for just one year. So it's a, it's a new activity for me, but really enjoy. I met great people like you. Yeah. <laughs> you were my first American couple staying oh, in yeah. my bed and breakfast. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Oh, yes. It was <laughs> wonderful. It was just wonderful. And we stayed in this lovely room. I mean, this house is just magnificent. And uh, she has purchased this house and she's renovated it all herself. Yeah. And she's just done a beautiful job with impeccable taste. And we stayed up in this room called the Shanghai Room. Kathleen used to live in Shanghai. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's decorated with some beautiful relics from the country. Mm -hmm. And it was just such a nice atmosphere. And, and, and what brought you to this town? Well, actually, I discovered this area of France about 20 years ago when uh, my parents came to retire in Languedoc. Uh -huh. uh, originally, I was from the Loire Valley, mm -hmm. and uh, I was really attracted by the natural environment of the mm -hmm. region and uh, yeah, the fact that it's not too crowded, it's sure. uh, very natural, it's mm -hmm. really yeah. enjoy. So I decided to come here and... Yeah. Uh, and, and start, a, start a bed and, and breakfast. Start a bed and breakfast, yeah. yeah. Fabulous. With, with what, three three rooms, four I rooms? I have three rooms, three rooms. yeah, uh -huh. three rooms. Yeah. 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 And I, I also I want to say I have two bicycles, so if, oh, anybody, yeah. if anybody wants to come here and uh, borrow a bicycle, I can do yeah. that, because I think you agree that it's a nice place to visit yes. with a bicycle. Indeed, yeah. it is. Catherine is also a, uh, a cycle tourist. Yeah, I really love uh, riding yeah. bicycles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Voilà. En exclusivité, euh, le départ du canal du Midi pour euh, tout le monde là, qui me regarde sur Instagram. Bon, je sais que j'ai pas beaucoup d'amis sur Instagram, mais c'est pas grave, je partage avec vous. Voilà. So, at, in town, here we have the church bells. Yeah. And so at 10 p.m., they ring for the last time, and then at 7 a.m., they ring. They stop again. Good yeah. and loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And I get you the don't need an alarm Everybody, <laughs> everybody knows when they should be awake and yes. when they should be asleep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very and before, traditional. Before then, it's silent. But once the bells ring, you can hear the town starting to wake Everything up. Everything yeah. just comes yes. to life. It's, yeah. it's really no, kind absolutely. of nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Ouveillon. <laughs> yes. yes. Come to yes. Ouveillon. It's a, it was a beautiful, beautiful place. Yes. Beautiful stay. You yeah. just loved it. And great breakfast, by the way. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Right. Good company with other guests and nice conversation. And I think those on our YouTube channel know Juliana tends to complain about the beds from time to time. <laughs> this was her favorite this bed. This was her favorite room. So far. Probably <laughs> yes. on any of the trips we've ever been. She just loved it. <laughs> well, welcome back anytime. So that makes a big Thank difference. you. <laughs> <laughs> we're I coming would, back. I would okay. definitely recommend this place. If you are in this area, please stop by here. Yeah. It's, it's well yeah. worth your visit. And they have a wonderful restaurant across the street. Nicest people, great food. Oh, yeah. I mean, the stay has just been so relaxing and 
and so rejuvenating. I just feel yeah. like my cup was filled. So. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back anytime. So that makes Thank, a big Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Good morning. How was your night's sleep, babe? Fabulous. The yeah. best bed so far. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful accommodations. That place was charming. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Catherine was just a lot of fun to talk to. Very knowledgeable and well traveled. Yeah. Had yeah. a lot of great stories. Exactly. Yeah. That made it a lot of fun. Yeah. Makes so, you want to like host guests, you yes, know? Yes, it does. It does. You think, oh, that would be kind of fun. Yes. Wouldn't it? You know? It would be. I understand it now. Yeah. It's going to be a windy day. We got some wind going on here. It says it's going to be about 15 miles an hour. It feels about 15 now. Hopefully it won't be uh, pushing into our face too much of the way. And uh, I don't know what our route is exactly. How much of it is on the canal or what, but it's going to be a beautiful day. Yes, it is. You can see the windmills turning way off over there. But more riding through vineyards and the beautiful Languedoc landscapes. Let's ride. Happy trails. <laughs> Happy trails. Here's our road. The road stretches on and on. Today would be our last ride in the Canal de Dumer. We had ridden some 350 miles with less than 5,000 feet of gain since we began at the mouth of the Garonne estuary. We had fallen in love with the slow pace along the canals, the overarching trees, the sweet honey-colored villages and gentle landscapes. But we were ready, as always, for new vistas. The azure waters of the Mediterranean were calling us, and by day's end we would enter into a new chapter on our little adventure. lot of olive groves here. Just tried an olive off of one of the trees. Man, was that bitter. I don't know what you do to them, but it was not quite ready. Boy, Kamut can really find these quiet little routes. I mean, just this little double track here. And you'd never find this without the help of an app. And it takes you into places you never go. It's awesome. The morning brought a dramatic contrast of sunshine and storm clouds, with a stout wind added for good measure. We bounced along a mix of rough gravel and smooth tarmac through rustic landscapes and elegant French countryside. Seracine. That's a nice road, nice little Yeah, I love these quiet roads. Yeah. Nice little uphill, taking it out of us with this wind. But I'll tell you what, after a few weeks of riding, you know the difference in your strength and your ability. Night and day, just night and day. Just power up this stuff. It would have been a real struggle before. Slow going so far this morning with rough roads and climbs and headwinds, but lovely scenery and just a beautiful day. We were back on the Canal du Midi, and although the track was fairly rough through here, it was altogether rideable. And along the way we were reminded why this route is such a charmer for bicycle tourists. I don't know 
what kind of berries they are, but we keep disturbing the birds. They must not be sweet because I don't see any bees around them. Right. I love these views in all directions, you know, just these rolling hills and vineyards. And Any way we turn, it's beautiful. Mysterious buildings, cathedrals popping up and towers. Into the bamboo forest. So people have asked us, hey, what do you do if you need to eat? Well, this is kind of what we do. We just grab some groceries, find a flat spot, just make a little sandwich, and boom, you've got lunch. Doesn't matter where you are. Just finished lunch. Coming into Bézier. Looks like a cool city. But I think we both always feel a little tired after lunch. It's hard to get back into that groove. We have a major lock center here for the Canal du Midi. A lot happening here, more than I can comprehend or explain. But you can see it's a big, pretty big drop here. You've been seeing that a lot. Big drops and big deep locks as well. And there's the city of Bézier. Bézier, Bézier, however you say it. What a pretty little canal side trail. Everything is pretty. <laughs> it is, it's doggone pretty. Rhymes with the Canal du Midi. What a beautiful aqueduct this is. And you can see the city of Bézier, some lovely bridges, impressive cathedral of the castle. I'd say it's more of a castle. Beautiful. It's like a bridge over land to keep the level of the canal. Here's the ground. So the canal is actually extended over that little river. And here he's on, along the trail that we've been riding. Actually, very cool. The Pont Canal de l'Orbe carries the canal over the River Orb and is the longest aqueduct on the entire Canal du Midi. It was completed in 1858, not old by European standards, but it's one year older than Denver, the city we live in, to put that in perspective. What is this? It's, uh, is it blocked? Busting through another deviation. It's been a gray, kind of dark afternoon. Very, very windy. windy. Wind's been in we're our just, face. Yeah, we're trying to get down to the med, trying to get down to Ag Agde. It's just, a, it's a struggle today, but it's we're still tired. wonderful riding. Kind of low energy today but, too. Yeah, a little low energy. We got too comfortable last night in the bed. But here we go, ready for more. you guys. Hello. Oh, look at the little ones. Look at the little colt over there. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at you. You're so precious. Look at you, you little peanut. Hi. They're promenade ponies. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Aren't you? Yep. I think I'll you backing up to me. <laughs> this is my first rodeo. <laughs> As we neared the Mediterranean, we begin to see the vestiges and all the familiar trappings of a highly touristed region. Those places that attract vacationers also seem to attract its share of kitsch. But for the most part, the trail found quiet ways through as we drew closer to the coast. You know, it's cool because we're getting close to the uh, Mediterranean. 
another one of our goals and kind of a nice little milestone. Now the sad thing is we're leaving a lot of that quiet countryside behind. It's probably gonna be busy for a while. I think it'll be quiet again when we head north again. Yeah, when we head north, yeah, I agree. But cool to be in a new part of the country. Checking out the ocean, it's, it's always fun. Boy, taking our time getting to our hotel. We got something pretty darn close to a beach, I guess. Tired today, a lot of headwind, a lot of rough trails. We're just enjoying the last little bits of this day and just slowly cruising in through the Mediterranean. Making our last climb of the day through the city of uh, Agde, Agde. And uh, at some point we'll hit a point, a peak, and drop down to the mid. Now scooting on down, about two more miles before we get to the ocean. First official glimpse of the Mediterranean. There it is, we made it. Made it to the Mediterranean. There it is. Not bad. Not a bad little slice of the Mediterranean coast that we found here. This is our room. Opens out to the ocean. Oh my God, this is awesome. I don't recall having a room with such a spectacular view. This is just so fine. I'm lucky tonight. Stars lined up nicely. There's Herman, enjoying the Mediterranean. He gets around for a hedgehog. All right, our little walk for dinner. <laughs> we hope we can find something. Pretty sure we can. So. Lovely moon up there. Lovely lady here. Life is good. <laughs> we did find a restaurant, which was less than excellent, but on the plus side, did have a lovely view of the sea. You know what's nice? We get to sleep to this because we're right on the ocean with our room and we can sleep with our windows open and we get to hear this all night. It is. We walked back to our hotel along the beach under a bright full moon. Bonjour.